Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about three tips to boost your energy now, right now. So here's what you can do. Regardless of why your energy has depleted. Well, sometimes it could be physical, right? Um, you stayed up late, so that's why you are physically tired. Or it could be mm, emotional. Uh, perhaps you had a fight with your partner, your friend, and you're feeling hurt, and that's why your energy is low. Or it could be environmental. It's raining or because it's a seasonal change and that's a thing the seasonal change that's a thing when seasonal changes happen your body needs to adjust so perhaps it's because of that that you feel depleted regardless these three tips can be used in the moment to boost your energy to gather your thoughts and come back to what you need to be doing and then I'm going to share three bonuses uh, that actually help with the energy dip that happens during seasonal change, how to avoid that. And then final one tip that's evergreen that I'm going to share. Um, it's not Reiki. I mean, Reiki is, of course, the evergreen tip uh, to keep boosting your energy, but it's something else. All right. So here we go. No, wait, wait, wait. I need to do this first. I need to thank you very much for being here and supporting us. Thank you. Okay, so let's dive in. So tip number one is breathe with intention. Breathe with a purpose. We breathe every day without really thinking, right? But in this moment, just Stop for a second and just that single breath with the purpose of really gathering everything around me and then into me and then again out. That's all. And you will find that you really feel elevated. Actually, <laughs> I use this quite often, especially when I find myself screaming at my kids. Kids can do that, right? Oh my goodness, my kids, they test my limits. And I find myself yelling so often. Ugh. And that's the moment when I'm like, stop the screen and And it works uh, for your kids as well. It works for my kids. Um, it's my boy. He really knows how to throw a tantrum. He's really great at it. So um, when that happens, I usually have to actually drag almost uh, to a quiet spot. And this is what I do. I first give him a hug. <laughs> and then I tell him, uh, let me know. When you're done crying, I'm here. And it doesn't take too long before the <laughs> cry turns into a <laughs> sob. Uh, when that happens, then I ask him to take three deep breaths. Of course, he can't do it as long as, you know, we adults uh, can do it. But still, he attempts. He breathes in through his nose <sighs> and out through his mouth and he does it three times. The next step is I say, let's count down from 10, nine, eight, three, two, one, all the way from 10 to one, which slowly helps him calm down. And the final step I say, before going back to everyone, let's switch that crying phase to a happy smiling face again he makes an attempt <laughs> and with that we go out so breathe with intention okay tip number two 
is step away. <laughs> this seems really counterintuitive, especially when you are so busy and you've got so many things to do, but stay with me and see. Um, when you have something to do and then you have another thing to do and another thing to do, what are you doing? You're kind of worrying about how am I going to get all these things done? And you're not really being productive in doing what you need to get done. And this usually happens when you don't have the energy to begin with. I mean, like you don't have the time. So you wish you had, you know, 10 times the energy that you have right now so that you can get things done quickly, uh, more efficiently, but that doesn't happen, right? You're like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired and I've got to get so many things done. In that moment, really, step away. So yeah, just move away. Um, this is what I usually do because I have a standing desk. So I usually really walk away. <laughs> I walk away and I come back and I feel more focused and I am actually then able to get into the work and able to do what I need to do. So if you, um, you know, working seated, then simply stand up. If you're standing, start to walk. And uh, if you were walking and have this feeling, then just stop or even sit. This movement is important. The movement gives you the break and helps bring back the energy, gather everything. Tip number three is reach for the sky. And this one actually comes from uh, one of the Reiki techniques called the Reiki shower. So if you know what the Reiki shower is and you know how to do it, this is a great tip. It helps to ground and definitely gives you a surge of energy. But even without Reiki, um, it still works because um, do it this way. Just imagine, right? You are, again, this movement of stretching to the sky and imagine all these beautiful, comforting energy of the universe that surrounds us. Um, that is what you're trying to gather and shower upon you. Just try that bit and see how you feel. And now I'm going to share what I do when I feel that dip during the seasonal change. And it, this is really a thing. Um, when the seasonal change happens, your body needs to adjust. See, change is the only constant in our life, correct? We have to constantly be adjusting to change. Something is always moving, flowing, changing. So when the season changes, our body also needs to adjust. And that's kind of the time that the throat starts to itch. You are more susceptible to the common cold. So here's what I do. When I start to feel my throat begins to itch, my first go-to is of course, connect with Reiki and put your hands. Again, you can do it without Reiki because human hands are so comforting. So if it's your throat, bring them to your throat. Uh, perhaps you feel it more in your stomach. In that case, put your hands on your stomach. Next thing I do is I go and make my ginger tea. <laughs> I take a small pot and add, I usually add about two cups um, and a piece of ginger. Mm, I don't know, maybe say about that big. <laughs> and I boil the ginger in the water, um, simmer for a little while actually. And if you like, you can even add some cinnamon or a few leaves of mint. When it's simmering, all the, the good things, the juices of those ingredients uh, seep into the water, uh, becomes a tea and it's, it suits your throat. Ginger has some great uh, warming properties and lots of other properties. And finally, the third thing that I really do is gargle. <laughs> I gargle morning, day and night. 
and at least once um, it's a saltwater gargle otherwise it's just warm water the wellness generally right this prevention um, we have all the tools within us we have the tools um, in our hands so why should we wait until we fall sick until we have to really be in bed when we can prevent it all we have to do is just take a little extra time for ourselves so please stop i know the life is busy i know it is but stop just just for a few moments and take care of you okay okay so the last tip the evergreen tip to boost your energy is actually sleep <laughs> that well but i know for some people um it is challenging to begin with um that's okay i know you are doing what you need to do uh, but for others uh, you know normally if you are okay with going to sleep uh, falling asleep then don't abuse it especially in these times when the season is changing or you know things are happening in your life that you know your energy is depleting especially in those moments make sure you get enough sleep good quality sleep because that's when everything is happening and of course if you have reiki if you've learned reiki self-healing do not <laughs> neglect that number one is to breathe with intention two is stop and step away three is reach the sky so this is my experience please share how you feel whether this works for you or not thanks for watching see you next week yes literally feeling like this before i began and then as i started to read um and you know started to give you the tips and i started doing the action oh my goodness my energy level surge and look at me right now so it works well it works for me so give it a try and thanks for watching bye